Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Well, well, well. Tee hee hee. The two big, big questions on everyone's mind right now about Genzo Sakuden is when is the HD remake coming out? Predictions are still open in the previous video, and the correct answer will win the True Ruin badges. Link in the description below. Oh, and also, you guys voted on Reddit. I've listened. We're gonna do a video on who or what is our lovely Ruin Mistress Jean. So, to do this video justice, I'm gonna have to go through each of the Genzo 3 Kuden games one by one and look at Jean's role and appearance in all of them and analyze and discuss my theories on what Jean or who Jean could possibly be. We note in Sakuden 3, she reveals that Kuroku the dog knows exactly what she's hiding. A quick Google search says that dogs can sense mood, attention, inequality, sickness, trustworthiness, pregnancy, animosity, intention, and the balance of probabilities. Her secret is pregnancy. Ferid, you dog. Wow. No, just kidding. On a more serious note, Jean did say she didn't want to scare everyone. Which leaves only one logical conclusion. She's man bear pig. Or could she be Cthulhu? Getting up to some tentacle, she's like Slan from Gantz. Enough of the jokes, it's time for Sukuden 6. Find out who Jean really is. Hmm. So what we know about Jean so far is that she's appeared in every mainline Genzo Sukuden game, albeit in different costumes and in different roles. She even battled in Sukuden 4. Let's look in depth into what we know and try to piece the mystery together. Now if you don't know anything else about Genzo Sukuden, you'll know that the world revolves around 27 true ruins and the main characters usually bear a ruin or have an association with a true ruin and we know that Jean is a ruin mistress hence she probably plays a very important role in the overall world of Genzo Sukuden. Leknak for example, the overseer, she appears and always guides the true ruin bearer, the protagonist on what they need to do to gather the stars of destiny. By the way, another video on Leknak coming soon. Oh my god! As Jean has a heavy association with ruins, I dare to say that she's got a big involvement, perhaps even with Hikusak. But that's for another day. Let's get back to Jean. We first see Jean as a ruin mistress in Sukuden 1. She is a beautiful girl, grey hair, very stylish and exotic. In fact, she keeps this youthful appearance in all of the Genzo Sukuden games. This implies that she may not be human, but what we see from her from the very start is that she's quite a mature, tall, leggy and flamboyant lady who's not afraid to flaunt her charms. Speaking of charms, she actually wields the charm rune that we'll see in Sukuden 4 and 5, but more on that later. Of the 108 stars of destiny, Jean is always the Jiketsu star, also known as the star of noble wisdom. This star is always occupied by Jean, in every single game that she appears in. This is very interesting because star of noble wisdom, I mean, you wouldn't need a lot of wisdom right to be a ruined mistress, your knowledge of the ruins, attaching them, removing them from any given other star of destiny or playable character. In fact, she can also do ruin scrolls, aka spell scrolls in Genzo Sukuden 5. Now Genzo Sukuden 5 is actually placed before number 1, 2 and 3, so it's a mystery why she's lost this ability in those previous games, although it may just be a gameplay decision. And speaking of gameplay decisions, in Sukuden 3 she can actually be a support character and improve the spellcaster's casting times. In number 4 and number 5 she was actually a playable character in your party. She holds a lightning rune, which can be removed, and has a strong affinity for all other runes as well, which you'd expect as a rune mistress. Could she be a rune herself? Well, I'm going to rule that out because why could a rune equip other runes? Doesn't make sense. So no, not a rune in itself, and also a rune incarnation like the uh, Night Rune as the Star Dragon Sword, potentially. We'll get into that in another video. However, could she be an entity like the Fog Ship Guide in Sukuden 4 who can bear a true rune? Or ruins. That in itself is an interesting line of thought, but before we get into there, in Sukuden 1 you first recruit Jean or even see her in the town of Ante. He's been known as Pierre Blanche, 
or in Japanese, Biru Boranshi. And Ante itself as a town has some very interesting recruitable stars of destiny. Could this charm ruin have influenced their appearance? We're talking about Mina the Dancer, Esmeralda, and Narcissus, Vincent the Bull, another Narcissus guy, trying to talk his way out of paying for meals, Albert Onyx. Um, yeah, that's fake. His name's Tesla. Okay, he's kind of out of place, but Gene is definitely there. Chapman is a hench, massive dude, and even Kimberly looks good, and so does Culon, pretty boy. But this colourful cast of characters is indeed very charming, to say the least. And also, she has quite an attachment to Ante because in Sukudan 2, I think after the war, she actually returns here to Ante to continue her work as a Ruin Master. And on the topic of Sukudan 2, in the Gate Ruin Wars, three years after it, she opens a Ruin Shop in Two Rivers. I think she's there in Green Hill as well. And Connell, the sleeveless sound set boy, actually studies Ruin Mastery. And his association with Jean is very interesting to me because together in Sukudan 2, they were assigned the task of converting runes into scrolls. So coming back again to the rune scrolls, the, the spell scrolls. And I think they were working together for a long, long time until they actually ran out of runes to convert. And eventually, because of Connell's unsuccessful attempts at using the kind of high level runes and scrolls, Jean gets involved, helps Nash lend her power. I think this is in Sukugaden. And later, Jean is recruited by Ru for the army and she uh, leaves her ruin shop in control to Yuri, who's an apprentice. I think she's an unnamed character. And that pretty much sums up Jean's involvement in the first two Sukudans. She's just a ruin mistress who helps you equip the runes, buy, sell the runes, and look ever so lovely while doing it. And speaking of appearance, her appearance between Genza Sukudan 1 and Genza Sukudan 2 actually doesn't vary as much as the other portrayals of Jean in the in future games. I mean, she's got the same hairstyle, that same exquisite grey, silver, long lock hairstyle. Her revealing bust and midriff is there or to see. I mean, she might have lost a little bit of weight in Sukun to look how that uh, that cloth just, just hangs off her boobage. She looks very, very similar. In fact, she looks similar in every game, which means that she's ageless. We know we associate agelessness with the true runes. In fact, they get to around teenage age and stay there. And I would put her around mid twenties just from a conservative estimate. The only differences I can see is that in Sukudan 1, she's wielding the staff, obviously. She's got that golden garter belt, which I can kind of see in the image of number two as well. She wears these kind of purple arm sleeves, but she has a cowl in Sukudan 1, this kind of mini cape mantle thing, but that is missing in Sukudan 2. She's also got that little gold neck piece with a ruby um, diamond on her chest. Hopefully that doesn't indicate Game of Thrones style uh, Red Witch. <laughs> because what a letdown if the big reveal was that she was old decrepit woman. She was ancient, a bit like Sanade from Naruto. So we've ruled out Jean being a true ruin or even a ruin. She could be a mystic entity, perhaps non-human, but she has many human-like qualities. Unlike the fog ship, she actually communicates very openly with all of the stars of destiny. She interacts with people, they have lasting memories, she's not a dream, people actually interact with her. I mean, look at this interaction with Limslia. <laughs> Following on from the appropriately named Beaver Lodge. Now then, Princess, please enter. Be quiet! This is my castle, remember? I don't need a guide. <laughs> Welcome. I've been waiting for you. So what we can tell in Genzo Sukun 5 is very important relating to Jean. So she was willing to do unethical, dirty work for money. She was the Ruin Mistress in Felena. So she is willing to put the Sun Ruin on Limslia, no matter how unethical or dodgy that might be. Secondly, it failed. So she didn't know the prerequisites or actually how to get the Sun Ruin in place, what the requirements were. However, she gave it a go. She believed in her own ability to put a true Ruin onto a person little girl, but still a person. So 
She has a massive faith in her own abilities, her powers as a Ruin Mistress. She didn't know the requirements to put the Sun Ruin on Limslayer. And secondly, she did it for the money, baby. And quite a few people know how to transport true ruins into various places such as the Beast Ruin in Sukudan 2. And also only a few people actually know how to move true ruins from a person either into a sealed orb or onto another person. And that is either the true ruin bearer themselves, i.e. Ted or the old man who gave it to Ted or Luck when he extracted it from, spoilers, I'm going to say, the other bishop. So that means Jean must have a lot of knowledge, which would make sense considering she's a rune mistress, but confidence in handling a true ruin, right? Secondly, which race do we know that's associated and ingrained within the true ruin story? That would be the Sindar, led by Hikusak. Jean could very well be a Sindarian, hence why she's ageless She's lasted the years, the aeons, she appears to be the same, but that would mean that she's also part of that wandering star tribe like Legnat and Windy. Hmm, could she be? It's a good question. But why has nobody ever caught up on it? Has she got any specific interaction with Lorelai, with Killy? Not that I'm aware of. Somebody correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Hmm, perhaps the time has come. Is it just me or does she have a resemblance to Ashtat, Queen of Felena? Symbol on the head, the grey hair, the golden jewelry? And that beaver. <laughs>
Look at that hand pose, those massive gloves and gauntlet. Maybe she can't take the water, hence why she's covered up. I'd say covered up, she's not really covered up, is she? She's barely holding those bazongas together. And what is this uniform? A little collar on the neck holding things together, a ring around the belly button. The belly button is very, very attractive, by the way. Kudos, kudos to that. But yeah, she's on the high seas and she is a warrior. She is fighting, she can use ruins. Was she more promiscuous and feisty back in the day? She can join your party. Could it be that she only likes four party members? No, that can't be right, because in five, she's there as well. But literally, this costume change is quite a difference. She was very, very raunchy and revealing in Sukuden 4. But saying that, she disappeared without a trace after Sukuden 4. I know she was in Sukuden Tactics and joins with Kiro after an A-rank mission, but speaking of raunchy, Mamma Mia! Oh my goodness, Sukun 5 revealed it all along. She's a hussy. No, I mean, I mean a husky. <laughs> That's why she can communicate with Kuroko the dog. She actually does wield true ruins, oh my god. Okay, so in Sakuden 5 she actually plays much more of a major role in the storyline itself. The developers might have finally got her backstory together and put her in the plot. Speaking of plot, those are two gigantic flotation device plot devices. Anyway, yes, I will show you the full um, hot springs scene at the end of this video. But back to the, the main point, Jean does not have an allergy to water, so that theory is out of the window. She also doesn't have a devil fruit from One Piece, otherwise she'd be drowning. But what she does seem to have in this game is a connection to the ancient ruins in Felena, something that's connected to the old arms kingdom. I think that was like destroyed by the sun ruin a long time ago. And speaking of ruins, I think she can force the ruins, even if they want to choose a owner, I think it was like the twilight ruin, she can force them on a particular person, which means her ability as a rune mistress, rune mistress even, goes beyond that of a normal rune mistress, but we knew that already. She has no luck trying to control the sun ruin though, but she still gives it a go. And what else is really fascinating to me as well is obviously there's these uh, hot spring hot bath scenes and locations in all the Genzo Sakudans more or less. And then you've got the kid investigations in Sakudan 3 and you've got the Richmond investigations in Sakudan 2. Surely dodgy kind of Japanese etiquette in anime and manga dictates that they're trying to spy on her in here in the natural environment. But Richmond finds nothing except for the fact that she's a magic user. And kid, I think, just says something along the lines of, she's a sexy ruined sage. What's her real identity? Okay, we know it's a her, it's a missus, it's a girl. That means it's not a formless entity like a monster, it's a woman. But the real identity, that leads me to believe it is somebody of significance from the past, maybe from Sindar, maybe from the Arms Kingdom, maybe from a tribe we don't know yet, but definitely associated with the ruins, and maybe she's the reincarnation of something. Even Alboro says in the Sukun 5 detective investigations that uh, she's damn good at her job. That's about it. <laughs> Beautiful, isn't she? That's, that's all he says. Damn it all bro, he caused me to miss the 108 stars many many a time. Anyway, I've also bought this um, lovely edition of Genzo Sukuden 2010 Konami Encyclopedia. And in here, we have an entry for Jean. But unfortunately, I need to get my missus to translate it. But until then, 
This is some of the best art I have ever seen. Look at that. Angelia, Palika, and Joey look so happy together. Oh. So really, what else is there to say about Jean? We know the director of Genzo Sukuden said that all the Jean, well, Jean's family looks alike, tongue in cheek. Must be a bit of a joke, unless she's like Nurse Joy and Officer Jenny. There's multiple of her all over the world, which could actually happen. And the reason why it could happen is because of the existence of Vicky. There's a young Vicky and an older Vicky, which means that the same person can exist in multiple timelines and converge together. So let's summarize the most prominent facts about Jean that we know. She's a rune mistress with an affinity for magic. She can fight. She looks the same in all games, no matter what age. She's very confident. She's interactive. She allows you to wield runes, remove runes, interact with runes. Additionally, she has silver hair, which I think was changed in Skun 5 slightly because of its relation to the um, Queen's royal family. But all in all, that's a trait that's worth acknowledging. I feel that she is a very prominent character in Skun universe, but not at the same level as Leknak and Windy because she's a star of destiny, which means Leknak would obviously know of her existence and of her potential and of her engagement as a star of destiny, unless she doesn't want you to know. What could Jean be doing in all of the different Sukudans to build up to the final instalment? I think she is encouraging the usage of ruins throughout the Sukudan universe. It must be building up to something, it must be charging something. The reason that ruins are so prominent in the world is because Jean and all her apprentice ruin mistresses are putting them on you to use. Does it drain your life force? Does it increase her life force? Who knows? I feel as though there's a particular reason why an association with ruins and appearance in every game is significant. I think Harmonia will have all of the answers. Oh, and she's got a good relationship with animals as well. If you put her in, uh, in Sukun Force party, she actually becomes the front cover of the game. Shows how significant she is. Maybe just fan service. Who knows? But she's also followed by cats, right? Three cats. Although I think one of the cats. Um, I remember his name. I want to say Chapu, it's not Chapu. Chapu's from Final Fantasy X. Will overtake her if he is in the party as well. And in regards to the mystery of Jean, she's actually got a relationship with the ancient arms dynasty. I think that is very much based on ancient Egypt. Um, there's a monster called Shepseska. I think I said that right. He's some kind of inverted pyramid beast who's rumored to be the king of this dynasty once upon a time. So why does he appear as an enemy? Who knows? But the relationship between Jean and Eresh is of massive intrigue as well because if these are ancient beings, magicians, wielding magic and sorcery, could they have been from the ancient arms dynasty? Could they have been responsible for the king going mad? Could ruins have played a part? Is that where ruins originated from? No, the ruins originated from sword and shield. Yeah, so all in all, I think there's much to be discovered about Jean that we don't know yet, but we've been given snippets and yeah, very excited. But I believe. There will be some reference to ancient Egypt, gods and goddesses, especially because Eresh is probably short for Eresh Kegel, which is um, an ancient deity. Zarath is the dark magician, Jean is the lightning affinity magician, Vicky is of the wind, Bernadette uses water, Levi is the fire magician, and Al Hazred is the earth magician. Could this be like in Middle Earth, the, the four coloured magicians, or could it be like in Legend of Mana, the, the wisdoms and sages of different arts? Who knows? I hope they one day wrap it up. Really looking forward to it, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will one day find out the background of Jean. Let's get Sakuden 6 made. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this lore video. Try my best to find and uncover everything I could. I'm going to be doing Sakuden 2 from Joey's point of view very, very soon. Also going to announce the winners of the previous giveaways for Sakuden items. I've got so many Sakuden items to give away. Please stay tuned to the channel to keep an eye out for those. And as promised, here is the full content scene.